Okay, so let's have a look at <clears throat> how I'm going to mount the motor for the Y axis. So, this is the bearing retainer cap. I pulled the bolts out and I'm going to use those bolts as part of what's going to hold my bracket on. You can see also that I've drilled and tapped a couple of bolts underneath as well. Um, so, I'll have four bolts to mount my um, motor mounting bracket. So, I got part of it here. Um, I've begun, begun to, to put it together. So there's a pocket in the back to trap that bracket right in place. So what that's going to do, it's going to sit just like that. And we'll bolt that on and go from there. Okay, so I got it bolted on. Um, looks like it fits just right. Uh, unfortunately, I'm running short on M6 bolts. The two that I have in the bottom are going to be too long, so right now they're just stuck in there, threaded in as part way, um, just to make sure that everything lines up okay, which it does, so we're good with that. Um, so I'll bolt on the next pieces and show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we got, got the whole bracket bolted on. I found some more bolts, so we're all set. We get those uh, the bottom ones in as well. So it look, you know, it looks a little Frankenstein-ish with the uh, the bolts sticking out. I could have taken the time to recess them, but really and truthfully, this whole thing is more or less temporary because eventually I am going to change these lead screws to some nice ball screws. This is just to get me started. Um, of course, that bracket there, I made it a little a little fancier than it needed to be. But it was kind of a funny shaped bracket. Um, it had to be, you know, it couldn't stick up past here because of the, <clears throat> the way, uh, well, on this side you can see it better. You know, the Gibbs travels out and slides, just slides right over that. So, um, so it had to be, it had to be shaped like that. And then, as I mentioned before, the motor has to be in line, you know. So, everything's looking pretty good. So I'll get the motor mounted up and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, she's all bolted up. And you can see how the saddle clears, clears that bracket just right. Till it comes out to where it stops, that's the end of the screw right there. So, yep. Came out the way it was supposed to. So, we'll get the power hooked up to it and <laughs> see how it moves. Okay, so here we are with everything put together. <clears throat> Give you a little bit closer look. So that's what it looks like all put together. So let's give it a try. Just using electronics from the uh, X axis right now, so. That's um, 60 inches a minute. So yeah, it's working. I'm probably uh, I got to clean up. I've been cleaning up the ways a little bit, cleaning up the lead screw. This thing, this thing was a mess when I started. You know, we're getting a little cleaner as we go, getting things dialed in a little bit. I got to set my, I got to calibrate the axis and uh, set my backlash, which I did all that up here for the z-axis that's all up and running um, so I think we ended up at uh, 
Oh, I can't remember. I think uh, 56, 56 inches a minute on on the Z. It's about as fast as it wants to go to be smooth. I can make it go faster, but uh, every once in a while it'll skip, skip a step or two, or so. But yeah, that's up and running. So, got all axes is moving. Let's see, did the same thing, uh, same thing up top that I did for the x-axis, which is just the plate with some bolts in it. And uh, it's simple, simple, down and dirty, but it works good. This here was a little bit more elaborate, but it's what I had to do because this axis is set up a little differently. But so yeah. I like it. So I guess uh, that's it for now.